What's up, Fresh Fam? Here's what to watch this week. What are you? We are. We are Venom! Hitting theaters this Friday the 25th is Venom The Last Dance. And no, it's not about his time on the Chicago Bulls. This will complete a trilogy of sorts since it is the third and final Venom flick for star Tom Hardy, with the story revolving around both of his characters being on the run from their own worlds. This one was directed by Kelly Marcel, who wrote or co-wrote the first two, and it's actually the first time we've seen Venom since his post credit scene in Spider-Man No Way Home a few years ago. This is pretty exciting. And the cast also includes Chiwetel Tell Edgy of Four, Juno Temple, and Rise Ifans, plus Stephen Graham reprising his role as Patrick Mulligan, and we've been promised an appearance from the Marvel supervillain Null, the creator of all the symbiotes. Sweet! The Pope is dead. The throne is vacant. Also in theaters Friday is the new drama, Conclave. This one has an interesting premise as it follows the process of selecting the new pope, which is like one of the most mysterious and ancient events in the world. Ralph Fiennes stars as the cardinal who is put in charge of it and uncovers some secrets in the process after the death of a beloved pope. He's joined by other talented folks like Stanley Tucci, John Lithgow, and Isabella Rossellini. Based on the 2016 novel, the movie premiered at the Telluride Film Festival back in August, with critics calling it, quote, a godsend for audiences who crave intelligent entertainment. Where are all the smart people at? Sometimes a vampire will go into a super slumber. <laughs> Happy New Year, 1996! Woo! We um, forgot to wake Jerry up. Oops. Premiering Monday on FX is the sixth and final season of What We Do in the Shadows. This mockumentary comedy series from Jermaine Clement, which follows four vampire roommates in Staten Island, has five certified fresh seasons and a 93% average on the popcorn meter. So let's just get that out of the way, because if you haven't already, it's about time you get out of the shadows and get into this show. This season picks up with Harvey Guillen's Guillermo character re-evaluating his life after a brief stint as a full-blown vampire, and it's sure to include a handful of surprise guests, as is customary. A congresswoman was kidnapped on American soil. A family killed. Other options to be on the lookout for this week include the new season of Taylor Sheridan's Special Ops Lioness, streaming on Paramount Plus on Sunday the 27th. The spy thriller series returns Zoe Saldana, Nicole Kidman, Michael Kelly, and others as they welcome in a new lioness operative into what looks like to be an action-heavy season. <laughs> Hitting Prime Video on Thursday the 24th is the new action crime show Like a Dragon Yakuza, based on Sega's Like a Dragon video game series. It follows a former organized crime member who gets pulled into an underworld conspiracy while trying to protect his childhood friends. Do you mind if I... I just, I really need a hug right now. I don't know if I'm... Oh. I really needed this. And in theaters Friday is the rom-com horror flick, Your Monster. It follows a soft-spoken actor with a cancer diagnosis who finds her voice and confidence after discovering a scary yet charming monster that lives in her closet. Hey, watch where you're going. What did you say? It's not like he can transform. Finally, our verified hot pick is Transformers 1, getting its home video release this week and streaming on Fandango at home. The animated prequel has a 98% score on the popcorn meter, with fans loving it for having a little something for the whole family. Plus, you know, it's Transformers. Seems like a lot of villains and shady characters featured this week. Nice. Remember to check out RottenTomatoes.com for the latest updates on scores and reviews. And until next week... Stay fresh.